Hey everybody, this is Steve with uh, Best Halloween Yard Haunt on Facebook. I just want to give you a little audio demo of some software and hardware you can use to really spice up your yard haunt this year or maybe next year if it's too late. Um, <clears throat> what I'm using here is some equipment I use to DJ. Uh, it's software called Tractor Pro. It's by Native Instruments. You can get that on the web. And uh, what I do is I hook it up to a sound mixer which gives me audio outputs. Now you don't have to use something like this, it's real expensive, it's set up for DJing. You can use Native Instrument Sales, just a multi-channel sound card. Uh, you can get a 4-channel, an 8-channel, a 10-channel I believe. Or you can just use the sound card that's inside your laptop. A lot of laptops have 4-channel sound cards, so you can assign multiple decks, which we have in the software, to go out on different outputs of your sound card. Uh, when they go out, I use a QSC K8 speaker. This is a pretty small speaker. I'll stand back so you can see it, relatively small. Um, you can rent these from Guitar Center for 30 bucks a day. 1000 watts built-in amplifier. All you do is give it your signal from your laptop and you'll hear amazing, loud, crisp sound. Perfect for thunder, lightning, wind, special effects. So I'm going to get into the software just real quick. Uh, there's a lot here, but I don't want this video to be too long. Um, what we have is multiple decks, okay? So we can load sounds into these decks. Think of them as like tracks. Track A, track B, C, and D. Now in this software, you can choose whether you want it to be a primary soundtrack. This would be for like music or something like this. Um, and then they have what's called a remix or sample deck, okay? So I could change any of these, I could change all four of these to remix decks. And within a remix deck, you can have four sounds play simultaneously. They can loop or they can play once, okay? And then you have obviously room to load a whole bunch into each one. So down here you can see, I'll put this back on a normal track. Uh, down here you can see I've got two sounds loaded in this one, two in this one, one, one. The arrow means they're all single shot, meaning they just play once. I do have a looping one on this side, and it's called Heartbeat, and it just loops over and over and over again. So basically, what you can do with these is um, this software responds to MIDI commands. So you can go and get yourself a MIDI switch. And what the MIDI switch would do is you could hit a button to trigger something. Say you were in a bush, okay? And I'm going to turn this up so you can hear this. Let's say you're in the bush, you have a speaker behind you in the bush, and you have a switch. When kids get close to you, you could trigger this very loud, shocking sound to make them make your jump out uh, even more intense, right? So you jump out, and you hit this sound at the exact same time. So you can see that that gives you like the ability to trigger any one of these 16 sounds, okay, through MIDI command. So um, that's something you can do to kind of automate your haunted house as well. If you use a pressure switch or use a optical light switch or motion sensor where somebody crosses a certain area and some sound happens, okay. So as you can see, there's tons of potential. I mean, I could load up 16 different sounds at once, you know, and have and trigger and all that. So the benefit, or what I think is cool about this, is normally, you know, you run, a lot of people just run a soundtrack out of a couple speakers in their yard, and sometimes you have nobody in front of your house, and sometimes you've got like a whole mob of people in front of your house. So the problem is that, you know, there are better parts of maybe, say, a soundtrack. So you might have this super intense part of your soundtrack going on, and nobody in front of your house. So what I think I'm going to do this year, and what this software can let you do, is um, I'm going to play this ambient sound, which you'll hear constantly, and then I'm going to add in these samples. If there's a lot of people around, I'll add in some special samples and stuff, and then I have these scenes that play, okay? So, like for instance, uh, just a real simple one. Here's Howling Wind. So if I want Howling Wind, I can trigger that. There's, there's my ambient sound right there. So we do both of them together. Now we're doing both of those together. What we can do is we can then trigger other sounds. So here's an owl. So they're going to throw an owl in. Or I can fade out the wind and the wind is done. 
So um, that's kind of how it works. So let's show you a couple things. That's the wind is not really like something that people would notice, but we'll do. Let's do this chanting monks. Okay, silo so chanting monks. So as you can see, you can do that. Here's another one. Let's load up Ritual. Ritual is pretty scary. Now in Ritual, I want people to really hear how crazy it sounds. So I'm going to fade out the ambience after it starts. want to play some of these samples I have that you can see. This also gives you the, the ability to add effects to it. So whereas the witch sounds like this normally off the CD, <laughs> kind of ends abruptly. When I put on the reverb effect, <laughs> kind of makes it nicer. So... <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. audio demo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check out Tractor Pro 2 from Native Instruments. It's an awesome mixing platform for Halloween and everything else. All right, um, have fun this year. Happy Halloween 2012.